Eddie Montalvo. It's a pleasure to see you, my brother. My brother, pleasure is mine. But, Too many years. <laughs> but let me let me start off. The best part of tonight was that you surprised me by sharing the music that you're currently recording, your new recording, which I believe, in all honesty, when it comes out, everyone will go back into the studio and say, what do we need to do to equal what Eddie Montalvo has done? Well, thank you, Because brother. first, like I told you when I heard it, it's old school, but fresh. Thank you. That's, 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 my, that's my legend, man. Old school. This is for the dancer, not for me. It's for the dancer. And you know what? From your mouth to God's ears. All I wanted to do, my soul, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, was do a great pro project. It's, it's up to the public to accept it and to really appreciate going back to the old school where the dancers can dance. It's not about me, it's not about, you know, of what's happening now. I'm old school and I just wanted to do things my way, putting up my money, no sponsor, nobody paying me, no, God's way. Even if this doesn't sell, I left the footprint for the dancers to say, damn, Montalvo did a good job. Not from my mouth, from the dancer's mouth. Well, first and foremost, let me, uh, let me predict that you will do well on a record set. Thank you. Thank you, brother. But let's talk about this because when you say you want to do it your way, it's an independent production in the sense that you're paying for it. Yes. But besides that, the compositions, the arrangements, who sings, who are the musicians, where are you recording it because it's in Puerto Rico, not New York. And the fact that when I said it's old school but fresh in the sense that it's got all the swing you want to hear for a dancer. But it's fresh because most of the songs, I heard eight tracks and there's probably two more. And I would say of the eight I heard, seven are songs that have never been recorded. Right? You have a cha-cha-cha? Uh, well, you know what? It, it, you know, my soul, I, I'm, to be honest with you, there's tunes there that were recorded like maybe in the 50s that people forgot about. You know, um, I decided to record in Puerto Rico for the simple reason, I'm, and I'm straight up, I got nothing to hide. Musicians in New York, great musicians. Nobody wants to rehearse. I'm not going to go into a studio and waste my time, because I'm wasting my money. You understand? Uh, every time you want to rehearse, somebody else, oh man, I can't do it, and this, and, well, you know what, let's, let's not play the game. Let's, let's grab the bull by the horns, and let's get over with the product. So what I did was I went to Puerto Rico and uh, I spoke with Jose Lugo, which is a monster. Jose Lugo said, Montalvo, let's do it. It's going to cost. I said, don't worry about it. Hey, man, it is what it is. It is what it is. I'm not begging. I'm not asking for mercy. I'm not asking nobody to record for free. Everybody's getting paid. Studio, arrangers, composers, you name it. Copious, hey, it's coming out of me. But you know what? I'm proud to do. Um, everybody who I who I have gotten, as far as Calito Torre, Chino Nunez, Roberto Navarro, Jose Lugo, and besides that, yes, the pianist that used to be with Gilberto Santa Rosa, which is a monster pianist, and. He also got a monster recording studio. But you know what? God is good. Because I'm, I'm going to explain something. You know, we were doing this trip with Ruben Blades. And, you know, I'm always joking. And we were on a plane. And I said to Ruben, I said, Ruben, you know what? I'll never forget. Ruben was sitting down. You know? And I walked up to Ruben, sitting in a plane. So I stand over Ruben like this. I said, Ruben. And you know, Ruben, you know how Ruben is real serious. So Ruben looks at me and says, yeah, Eddie. And I said, now listen, I plan to record. And he said, you? And I said, yeah, me. And I said, so, the reason why I'm standing here is because they gave me a Tite Cure Alonso tune that has never been recorded. And I would like to know if you would, you know, if you would like to sing it and tell me what your fees. This is January, never forget. And Ruben said to me, I swear, Ruben says to me, 
call me March. And I said, oh, Lord have mercy, there it is. Call him in March, there it is. But you know what, March 1st, I call a group. Now, remind you, I got my money together. I started recording in Puerto Rico. I recorded, Jose Lugo did the arrangement. Monster arrangement, not because I say it, but it's coming out of your mouth and many people who have heard it. Okay, I'm not gonna brag about me, it's not about me. Let's, let's, let's get that straight. So what happens? March 1st, I call Ruben. He says, hello. I said, Ruben, I said, what's happening, man? I said, listen, um, I got that tune that I told you about. And I heard silence on the phone. I said, Ruben, you there? He said, no, no, I'm here. I said, Ruben, you know, I, I sent you the letters, you know, the, the words, and, 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 and I sent you an MP4. He said, Montalvo, I never, I never even saw it. I said, all right. Oh, well, when can we get together? He says, I'll tell you what, why don't you come by my house tomorrow? I said, what time? He says, nine o'clock. I said, hey, nine o'clock, no problem. So, so nine, thank you. So nine o'clock came, and I was down by his house. Knocking, I, now I get to this house, I don't know which doorbell to ring, because there ain't nothing there that says Ruben Blades. And I said, damn, I don't want to, you know, knock on all these doors and wake up people at 9 o'clock in the morning. So I, start, I called him on the cell, and his voicemail came on. I said, oh, Lord have mercy, what am I going to do now? So I said, Ruben, is any Montalvo? I'm here. About, honestly, about 20 minutes, Ruben comes out. He said, Montalvo! And I, and I was standing by the sidewalk against the fence. Not against the fence, but against like a gate. We go downstairs to his house. And he says, Montalvo, sit down. And I said, no, I don't want to sit down, man. But tell me, are you going to record with me? He said, let me, let me hear what you got. Ruben puts it on. It's a, it's a CD. Puts it on and he goes, Chucha, what's this? I said, well, that's what it is. So he says, wow, Montalvo, man. Definitely I'll record here. Big sound. You know, I got three trumpets, two trombones, and a baritone, and of course, rhythm section. So we decided to go to eat. And Ruben says to me, wow, Montalvo, what a surprise you're going to give the people, man, because you're old school, man. And I said, Ruben, thank you, man. But you know, he dug it so much, man, that he said to me, you know what? Montalvo, what else you got, man? I was surprised. I was like, what? And at that moment, Papa Luca calls me. At that moment, because I had told Papa to make an arrangement for me. So what happens? Ruben says to me, that's Papa Luca? I said, yeah. He said, well, let, me, let me say hello then. You know, so he gets on. And he says, you know what, Eddie? I want to record that tune. I said, I'm not, I want to keep it a secret because you heard it. I ain't, gonna, I ain't even going to say nothing. But you know what? I want to thank the Lord. Because it's because of the Lord that I've gotten this break. Uh, I gotta share this with you because uh, I got nothing to hide. I was in Puerto Rico with my wife, and um, I go to Vienna's record shop, and I run into Chill. And uh, Chill Feliciano says, "Hey, Montalvo, man, uh, Ruben tells me you're recording." I said, yeah, you know, and he says, yeah, he tells me that it's pretty cool. I said, well, you know what, I can't tell you it's pretty cool because it's not me to say it. It's the public if they dig it. So he says, uh, you know, you're a son to me and Coco. And I said, yeah, I know, but you know what, Chael, I have never bothered you because financially I'm, I'm, I'm doing this on my own and I don't dare ask you because I respect you on whatever price you would give me. I will pay you, but I think that it would be, you know, a high. And he said to me, you know what? You're a son to me, man. You know, whatever tune you want, you send it to a range and tell me what day to be in the studio. And let me backtrack. Ruben, God bless you. Thank you, because you're another one that said, I'm here. And when I said, Ruben, what are your fees? Ruben turned around and said, and I said, no. He says, leave it there. So you know what, Ruben? I want to thank you, Jill. I want to thank you. I want to thank all the musicians in Puerto Rico. 
who have helped me with this production, Jose Lugo, forget about it. Needed to mention, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I want to thank you because I ran into you today and I, I, you know, you really made me happy because you listened to the eight tunes and you told me, Montalvo, you, you know, that it's a monster. I can't say that. You know, sometimes an album you can think it's going to be good and it just flops. So you know what? Even if it flops, I'm happy, I'm content for the simple reason, my soul, that it's something I wanted to do. It was done the way I wanted to do it. I selected the tunes. I selected the arrangers. I put up the bread. And that's all that counts. Even if it doesn't sell one copy, I'm happy that I left a footprint before I leave the surf. Before we wind this up, you've got Chill singing, you got Ruben singing a few songs, I you got, got who else? Macho, I got Pupi, Cantol, and Domingo Quinones. Tell me about the Domingo Quinones. Well, you know what? It's funny because I got a friend in Puerto Rico who said to, to Domingo, Domingo, you know, uh, Montalvo sends you regards because I, my friend was going to meet up with him and this is all I said. I said, send him regards. Now, Domingo and I got a good relationship, good pulse because when they were doing the Hector Lavoe uh, Hector Lavo play in New York, he came to my house and I gave him a lot of videos of when I used to play with Hector Lavoe, may he rest with the Lord, and his birthday was just this week. And Domingo sent back Hey, Montalvo, you know what? Tell him to call me. So I was like, yeah, okay, I'll call him. But you know, I didn't know what it, I didn't know what it was about. And all of a sudden I called him and he said, I got a tune for you, man. And he told me, tell me who are the conga players that you respected when you were growing up. So I said, Barreto, Armando Peraza, Aguabella. You know, I went on and on. Tata Guine, you know, an example. He said, I'll call you back in 15 minutes. No lie, this is how it happened. He called me back in 15 minutes and he had written a song and he sang it through the phone. Then he made an MP4 and he sent it to me. And then I asked him what he recorded in the album and he said, I'm there. So you know what? Again, thank you Jesus Christ for giving me the opportunity. And I always believe in that when you're good to people, this it comes back to you. Okay? I'm not bragging about myself, but I've paid my dues here. I don't envy nobody, but God has given me an opportunity. So let's see where it goes from here. Eddie Montalvo. Te quiero mucho, papi. Thank you, brother. You know, I love you and Divina. This is Ruben Blades. You're listening to Jose Maso con Salsa, WBUR 90.9 FM. Que debe hacer para que le sobre de vez en cuando el momento de ser feliz al hijo del ricachón lo han visto llorando con doy que es rico quisiera sentir la dicha de un mediodía en el callejón tener dos o tres peleas como las Se siente incompleto, le falta dicha 
corral 